What's up, soulmates? Um, welcome to Love Savvy Jew, episode 18. So um, the question of today is, when is a good age to stop looking for love? Mm. Mm -mm. So I would say it depends on if you still want love. And it also depends on your soul, your soul contract. Um, so the next episode, we're going to talk about what our soul contract is. Um, so if you have a contract <clears throat> with God, right, um, to continue looking for love, um, then it's then um, you there's no there's no date, there's no expiration date. Um, and it's also depending on your desire, right, to, to continue the contract or just with natural instinct, you know you have this contract to continue looking for love. Now, if, if you have a contract to stop looking for love uh, at a particular age, because in this lifetime, you're not supposed to have a romantic love, right? You're supposed to serve in a different way. Everything is for a purpose. Everything is on purpose for a purpose, okay? Um, so if on purpose or purpose, you have a contract to, to not be, um, in, in a romantic relationship, then, um, you, you will have this instinct to stop looking for love and a desire to stop looking for love, but it all depends on your contracts and your desire, uh, cause everything is on purpose for a purpose. <laughs> Okay, and purpose just means serving. You're here to, to serve in some kind of way, to contribute in some kind of way um, to all of humanity, you know? So you have an individual purpose and a purpose for all of humanity. That's my word for today. <laughs> so uh, uh, next episode, episode 19, we'll be talking more about uh, what a soul contract is and more in more detail what a soul contract is because that's the next question um, from one of our Love Savvy volunteers. Okay, you guys, you have a great day. Peace and mwah. So... <laughs>